Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back again bringing you guys another Madden 16 Ultimate Team video And guys today what I want to talk about is the ultimate freeze promo as a whole I guess um, so what I'm really wanting to talk about here is kind of whether or not this whole thing has been a good promo or not uh, I think there are some differing opinions on it I want to give you guys my opinion let you know kind of how I feel about what we've gotten so far kind of what is expected to come and uh, you know maybe if there's something else to, to talk about as well but uh, the first thing that I really want to talk about guys is uh, is kind of the general idea of this promo right now so basically one thing that I've liked personally is just the aesthetics of this promo uh, if you take a look at some of this stuff like the sub-zero pack for example uh, just take a look at this card art first of all I think that this is really really neat I think that uh, I believe it's pixel pusher on Twitter that designs all of these things I first of all want to give him props He's done a really great job of making these things look really cool. The ice cubes and things like that have been really, really neat. Um, but other than that, like <laughs> uh, to be completely honest with you, I'm not that excited about this promo. Uh, the cards that have come out have been pretty good. Uh, the out of position cards were really, really cool. I'm very, very happy to see that those are still pretty cool in the game. Uh, we still have free safety Calvin, strong safety Julio, um, all kinds of different unique cards that we can use. Quarterback Walter Payton's my fave, of course, uh, on offense anyway. Free safety Calvin on defense. Um, and then I love, of course, that they put Donald Penn in the game as well again, but uh, at tight end but again he's really not that great because he has such r low run blocking which is ridiculous by the way but whatever we'll, we'll talk about that another time um but uh i, I just want to show you guys first of all one thing that's currently in the game right now that I'm a little bit irritated by. So the Sub-Zero packs, first of all, are 100,000 coins, okay? These things will contain a, gar a guaranteed gold or better Ultimate Freeze player. So basically, you're going to get a gold Ultimate Freeze player. Let's be completely honest here. Whenever they say gold or better, you can bet your ass that at least 9 out of 10, you're going to get a gold, okay? Um, and, and when they say, like, gold or better badges out of the Game Changer packs... Almost every single time it's going to be gold. I understand there are going to be times where you get an elite and that's great, but most times it's going to be a gold. Like I would say over 90% of the time I would have to imagine. I don't. In fact, I don't think I've ever gotten an elite badge out of a game changer pack, for example. Uh, but you also get nine gold or better players, which again, almost guaranteed are going to be all golds <laughs> in, in your average pack. There might be a, a, a you know an occasional elite or something like that you might get a sebastian volmer from uh, the base set you know nothing really spectacular and then you get four team items like usual uh you do get an ultimate freeze item which again is probably not going to be anything of much value so the likelihood that you're actually going to make a profit on these is extremely low now understandably yes you can pull the ghost items in the game right now as far as i understand it you can actually pull them in packs right now and it might be possible to pull them in, in pro packs as well i'm not 100 sure um I, I think that that's true but the bottom line guys is that these things are a hundred thousand coins to purchase or ten dollars roughly thousand points right the other thing is that you can actually pull the uh the pack bundle right now the eight pack bundle and that'll actually include a topper that also gives you two elite out of position players so at least they're giving you an elite out of position player and that can be calvin johnson it could be walter payton it could be um you know any of these cards it could be uh, Julio Jones, I'm trying to think of the other ones off the top of my head, but the bottom line is that there are, there are a good number of elite out of position players, and these were going for between 120 to 150,000. Now, as of this promo coming out, they're going to drop significantly, which is frustrating for people who invested in those cards and, and were hoping to turn a profit, because there's a good chance that now you're almost not even going to have a chance of turning a profit on these. The market's going to be substantially more flooded now that these are guaranteed in packs. And honestly, these these were the things that were uh, probably the best part of this promo, in my personal opinion. But you have to use these elite out of position players to get the Bo Jackson. So, uh, like, in addition to the, the elite out of position players, you also have to get, like, ghost players and all kinds of different stuff to get that Bo Jackson. Um, and you even need these to get the ghosts. Uh, unless you pull them randomly in packs, which again is highly, highly unlikely. So, uh, you know, there's a lot that goes into these uh, to these sets. And to be honest with you, you have to spend a ton of money. When I say money, I say money because you really can't do it with coins. Like, it's almost unfeasible. Like, I would, I would literally only get 20 of these Sub-Zero packs. And I wouldn't even get to 20 if I spent every single coin that I currently have on my account. 1.964 million coins. I would get 20 packs. Like, 
that is ridiculous right so basically you have to spend the $80 to, to, get, to get the bundle to even have a chance of getting any of these good cards that come out uh, I mean a realistic chance anyway so that's a little bit frustrating to me I, I'm kind of upset about that but um, the other thing that I really want to talk about right now, guys, is the, the presents that are currently in the game. Um, I, I feel like the presents, or the gifts as they're calling them, excuse me, um, I, I feel like this has been one of the more frustrating things. And, and I say that because when these came out, everybody was super, super excited, right? Like, we all were wanting to get these gifts. We were ripping pro packs. We were getting all kinds of hype for these things, right? And there were a bunch of them that came out, right? There's this black one here, the one with the white stain in front of it, we call it. Uh, this one looks like it's going to be like a, a badge set or something, or a badge pack of some sort. Um, but, you know, we don't really know what's going to be in these, right? So uh, there's varying prices on them, but you can see they're basically going from anywhere between about 15000 This one's 19000 but... Um, Somewhere between about 15,000 to uh, about, you know, 200 to 250,000 or so right now. Um, and, and obviously, we were talking about uh, the the uh, extra one that we had found that was like the brown stained one. I don't even know how to describe that. Sounds really disgusting, but I'm trying to find one of them. But um, regardless, the, the point being here, guys, is that uh, there are five gifts currently in the game. A lot of us were expecting that there were going to be more gifts added, and we haven't seen that. So it's a little bit frustrating. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that there won't be more added. Uh, there definitely could be more added here in the next couple of days. We're still, what, two days away from actually being Christmas. Um, but it is a little bit irritating that there are only five of these because last year the promo had so many different presents and stockings and um, you know all kinds of different things that you could open and we didn't have any idea what were in any of them like some of them were kind of revealing because they had like the stocking with the Rams logo on it and and some of them had like a piggy bank on it and that one kind of let us know that it was gonna be a quick sell of some sort um, but uh, you know all of these different presents that are in the game right now, we have absolutely no idea what they are. They're not very revealing, but we're starting to hear information that might be kind of a spoiler. So what I'm going to do, guys, right now is I'm going to let you know that what I'm going to be putting on the screen is potentially a major spoiler for this this promo okay so if you're not interested in seeing a promo uh, in what might be in these gifts turn off the video right now and I, I'm gonna give you a five seconds here I'm gonna count it down five four three two one all right here we go we're gonna switch on over to the other screen that I have pulled up right now this is on my computer this is mutthead.com if you guys have never been to the mutthead forums be sure to head on over here uh, because there are a ton of people on here that play Madden Ultimate Team. You can do, you know, trades with people. You can just get involved in the community. But anyway, um, this website has a ton of great information always, right? Uh, with whether it be their database or, or whatever. But the thing is that uh, that I'm really interested in, in here is the, the posts from this guy here. I don't know how to pronounce his name, and I apologize. I'm sure it's I'm sure it's something really easy, but I'm gonna call him Drew NP. Okay, if I'm pronouncing that incorrectly, I apologize. But basically, this guy has has been very very accurate with the information that he has provided throughout the year, and right now he is providing this information to us. Now he does say use this at your own risk. This information is not confirmed, and if you rely on it, you rely on it at your own risk. Okay, so. The things that we're seeing on here right now, and he's also saying, I'm not responsible if this is incorrect, but anyway, um, what we're seeing on the screen right now are the predictions that he has for what are going to be in each of these, uh, in, in each of the gifts or, or various different things that you can get in this promo. So uh, just take a look at some of these things here. Uh, some of the gifts, a 10 trophy pack, right? That could be the, the one that had like the, the UT logo, right? And then we've got like the quick sell and then we've got a random elite Super Bowl ring, a premium pack, a trophy pack, like all of these different types of things, right? Legendary pack. So that would be kind of nice, I guess. Um, but really nothing spectacular in these gift boxes, okay? And these things are going for a lot of coins. They're super, super rare. There's other things in here as well uh, that could potentially be uh, involved in the promo. There's the, um, the seasoned veteran packs. There's a 94 defensive end Jared Allen. That one has been almost, I would say, confirmed. 
okay now i we don't know that for certain but this one has been extremely extremely commonly predicted by people um and there are a couple different reasons for that i'm not going to get into everything but uh 94 jared allen okay now that's not that exciting of a player, right? It, it really isn't. There's an 89 wide receiver, Dion. We expected that there might be a Dion out of position card because uh, he had had out of position cards in previous years at wide receiver. And he actually did play wide receiver for the Cowboys. He's a quick player, but he's not going to be anything spectacular. In previous years, Dion's elite wide receiver card would go for like 15 to 25,000 coins for the most part. So nothing really spectacular there. Um, another one here, Jay Cutler. 94 uh, Jay Cutler. This one is supposed to be uh, pretty much confirmed as well. Um, and then also the uh, the 92 CJ Spiller. I believe that that one is pretty close to being confirmed as well. But basically, there are a whole bunch of different things in here that really aren't that exciting. Um, there are some ones down here as you go down um, that could be a little bit more exciting. A linebacker, Steve Atwater. That would be pretty cool. Um, a safety, Jason Taylor. That would be kind of interesting. I heard that. I don't remember if somebody said he played that in college or in high school. But uh, that could be a cool card because he's tall and uh, physical and strong and things like that. That would be kind of neat to have. Um, some other ones in here. 88 Cam Newton at halfback. That could be interesting. Uh, a 91 cornerback, Ronnie Lott. Obviously, we know he is one of the better safeties that they put out each year. But for the most part, guys, like a lot of these collectibles or, or various different things that you can get, I don't really think that they're going to be anywhere near being worth uh, what we're putting into the game right now. Like none of these cards that I'm looking at, maybe Jason Taylor, um, probably Ronnie Lott will probably be worth it. Maybe tight end Vernon Davis down here, a 92 tight end Vernon Davis, because if he's super fast or something like that, he might be the, the better one of the better tight ends in the game. But like almost none of these cards are going to be good enough to be worth, you know, 200, 300, 400,000, even 100,000 coins that people are spending on a lot of these presents. I mean, if you go back here and we look at, at the auction block right now, basically, you know, like I said, there are a whole bunch of them here that are selling for, you know, 150,000 coins, uh, you know, 80,000 coins, even some of these that are only going for 25,000 coins. Uh, I just do not think that you're going to be able to turn a profit on these. Now, I understand what some people are saying is that uh, this is not a, a promo where EA is guaranteeing things. I understand that. EA has no, uh, they have nothing to, that requires them to give us anything for any of these promos, right? But the bottom line is that if they want to go out and they want to do promos and they want to make us spend, well, not make us, but uh, encourage us to spend $80 on a bundle. And then previously it was the Ultimate Freeze bundles and those were 40 bucks. And, you know, if you go back and back and back, you're talking about spending $100, $200 if you do these promo, uh, if you do these um uh, the bundles and things like that if you participate in this promo it's going to cost you a hundred two hundred three hundred dollars and what do you get for it even if you get the very best things out of the presents you're getting cards that are worth maybe a hundred to three hundred thousand at the very very most i would say and to me that is just not worth it at all i i think that this is a a really really poor investment right now uh and it's very very disappointing to me as well because like I said, in previous years, we got some amazing stuff out of out of our uh, gifts. And things like, you know, Bo Jackson came out of one last year. And that caught everybody off guard. Now, that's not to say that EA can't still do this. I, I understand that what we saw there is not confirmed. But this sounds like it's going to be what we get. Or that's going to be a, at least a very accurate representation of what we get. That might not be 100% accurate, but it sounds like it's going to be pretty darn accurate. Pretty much everybody's in agreement that this guy um, and, and other people who have uh, kind of been putting out information, pretty much all of them have uh, been in agreement on what is going to be in most of these presents. So, or gifts. What I, I, I don't know the terminology off the top of my head. Whatever. Uh, but the bottom line, guys, is that I, I feel like we're all losing out on this promo. And it's really disappointing because I, I was so excited about this one when they put it out. Because last year, the uh, the holiday gifts and everything like that, that was so much fun uh, to be able to collect those things and, and to, to open it up on Christmas Day or Christmas Eve or, or you know, the days after Christmas. Um, it was such a blast to be able to open up all of those packs and, and uh, you know, just not knowing exactly what was going to be in them until the day of. And then, you know, if you're like me, you didn't look online. You just you wanted the surprise of it. But we knew that it was going to be something good in almost all of those gifts. 
this year I'm not getting that same feeling not only that but there's just not that many of them right so uh, it's a little bit frustrating I'm, I'm kind of frustrated with the fact that there just aren't enough ways for us to even make coins on this um, and to me it just seems like what basically is happening here is that there are a whole bunch of different things that you have to do to get one ridiculously good player which is Bo Jackson in this case and if you don't do that then this promo sucks basically right and uh, I want to hear what you guys have to say about this I'm I, maybe I'm being too hard on EA. I don't know. I, I'm i somebody who tends to look at things as, uh, you know, on the bright side for the most part and give people the benefit of the doubt. And I'm not calling out anybody in specific, but I just feel like we got a really great promo last year for Christmas. We had a really great promo for Thanksgiving last year. And then this year, the Thanksgiving promo it flat out sucked. I'm just going to come out and say it, right? The promo flat out sucked last year. And for Christmas right now, this is looking like a promo that's going to disappoint significantly. It's going to cost people a ton of coins, and they're not going to be able to profit from it. They're not even going to make their coins back. So uh, maybe that's EA's intent to get coins out of the game and, um, you know, get people spending money and, and things like that. I mean, I guess it's smart in that way, but it is a little bit disappointing for me and for other people that have been excited about this promo and then we get this. So again, guys, I want to hear what you have to say. Am I right? Am I wrong? How do you guys feel about the uh, the promo this year? Is, is it good or is it disappointing? Let me know in the comments section below. Thank you guys so much for all the support. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Good luck if you guys do decide to pull any pro packs or any, uh, any of the... Um, what are these called? The Sub-Zero Packs, anything like that. Let me know what you guys pull in the comment section below as well. Thank you guys so much. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll talk to you guys again soon.